iPhone 16 to launch early in Korea, as Apple explores additional markets to retain sales after weakening demand in China. The iPhone 16 launch is almost a month away, and details related to its release have started pouring in. It is now being reported that Korea could see an earlier than expected release, and the reason for this is the weakening demand in China. The iPhone 16 lineup is expected to come with major design changes, especially for the standard models with a vertical camera bump. If you are not familiar with it, Korea has not been part of Apple's initial release regions since the launch of the iPhone 3GS in 2009. If the news has any heft, it could prove to be a major milestone for the company. Sources familiar with the matter have told the Korea Times that Apple has already begun preparations in Korea for an early launch of the iPhone 16 lineup. Apple will launch the iPhone 16 series next month, and based on the company's past trends, we could see the launch happening in the first half of September, with the 10th being the potential date. Apple holds a strong position in Korea, considering the demand for the iPhones, but the devices have seen a delayed launch. This means that the iPhone was available in the region a few weeks after the company released the new iPhone models. Well, this is about to change as the iPhone 16 lineup will potentially be available right after the launch. The reason why the iPhone releases are a few weeks delayed is twofold, the company's strict confidentiality and Korea's stubborn certification system. This means that all devices must pass through Korea's National Radio Research Agency for certification. And if Apple sees the same, details related to the unreleased products could be uncovered ahead of time. These premature leaks are the reason why the company has always been stringent in releasing iPhones and other products right after the announcement. There is no doubt that Apple is a very secretive company when it comes to its products, and it aims to eliminate all sources that leak details ahead of launch. The company is now pondering over strategies to bypass this approach and launch the devices early in Korea. This will result in more sales in the region despite a steady demand. On the flip side, Apple is having a hard time recovering demand in China, and this could be the reason why the company wants to explore additional markets for the iPhone to keep sales steady at its end. It was recently reported that Apple dropped out of the top 5 list in China all thanks to its competitors and despite its promotional efforts to retain ground. Potentially, the Korean market would recover some of the sales that Apple lost in China. Do you think Apple intelligence will be able to revive sales of the iPhone?